Hey y'all, we're Alec and Cindy with Sharing the Journey. And as y'all know that we work camp our way across America and live full time in our motorhome. Today we're going to talk about water. Um, water seems to be a big to topic with my wife this week. <laughs> and so it's time to change the filters on our Berkey anyway. So we're going to tell you a little bit about um, how we make sure we have safe drinking water as we travel. Because you know, you go from town to town, place to place, state to state, and everybody's water is different. And uh, our palate uh, doesn't like all the different flavors. Some water has sulfur, some are heavy minerals and whatnot. And we don't know the contaminants and we want to make sure we've got good, safe drinking water. So we use the Berkey. And this is what our Berkey looks like. And it is, Cindy, which? It's the tribal model. I've there's... Cindy picked it out. Well, <laughs> well, we had some good friends when we were in South Carolina, other work campers. We all got on the topic of water that year. Well, now I'm big into it this year. But um, they told us that they travel with a Berkey. So we started looking online. There's several different types of Berkeys you can get. This, I believe, is called the travel size Berkey. It fits perfect in the space we have for it to fit in. Um, I want to say it's like one and a half gallons. I think so. Of water that it holds, which is plenty big enough for us. And we've had it for three years. Yeah, and we love it. It, it has been wonderful. We had somebody warn us about um, just giving your animals tap water because you don't know what's in the water where you are um, and whether it's hard water or whatever. Anyway, so everybody suggested and it was kind of a agreement upon, among all the work campers that you needed to filter your water that you drank or that you gave to your dog, your animals to drink. So we got the Berkey about three years ago. And when we first got the Berkey, it only came with a charcoal filter. Right, which okay? has to be changed every three years. Or so many or gallons 3, of water gallons that or something you put like through that. it. But it's been three years. And so we just, we decided that we needed to get new filters, or I decided we needed to get new filters. They just showed up in the Amazon cart. <laughs> and, um... So, in this big water kick I've been on, um, I've been doing research, and there's a lot of contaminants in our water that we don't even realize is in our water. But anyway, um, the, Berkey has come out with another filter that you add to the charcoal filter. So, it's an extra filter. So, and we'll show you how to put it all together and we're going to wash ours out good and everything. And prime the filters. Yeah, and, and all that. But this will go in the upper chamber of the um, Berkey. Berkey and then it'll filter through this and through this spout down into the bottom chamber. And this is an extra and what is this, this filters out a lot of contaminants 234 contaminants heavy metals and stuff i believe it says but this one the white filter takes out fluoride and arsenic who would think there'd be arsenic in your water i don't know why there's arsenic in water but there is and it's ridiculous and i want to get rid of it so we bought this extra filter to do more filtering of our water um, to make it safer to drink and safer for our pets. So we're going to take you along in how to clean the Berkey, put the new filters in, and I'm so excited to get new, good, clean water. All right, let's get started. All right, so Cindy says the first thing we need to do is to disassemble it and to wash it now it's got some water that stays in there which is why you should wash it out periodically yep and if you're able to see in there i don't know if you can if there's enough light but there's green slime 
at the bottom. Oh, there is. Well, I don't think it's green. I don't know what it is, but it's slime. And so you take off these bolts. So you unscrew the little wing nut things. And we're just going to throw these filters out. Because I'm going to be honest, we have not necessarily been doing what we should. We haven't have kept doing. up with the maintenance on them. And so... And they're they're going, they're, they're filtering slow. And you can see on the top... The buildup. And that's why see they... See the bottom? Yeah, that's terrible. And that's why they say you need to wash them periodically. The goal was to wash them once a quarter and then life happened. And we didn't do it. So we're gonna put, we're gonna clean everything good. We're gonna put fresh new filters in and we're gonna be all set. Anything's gonna be better than that. Better than what we were doing with that and we thought we were doing pretty decent. Okay, throw those in the trash. Well, I'm just getting them out of the way right now. Yeah, I only want them in the sink. And then... So I'll get them. These going in the trash can. And then there's a little bit in the bottom of the reservoir. And then we have to take the spout off. And this is just a rubber gasket that sits, that helps it not slip around on the... So we've read quite a few things about how to wash the Berkey. We've heard use the antibacterial soap. Um, I read something that said you can use a couple drops of Clorox. Um, we went looking for antibacterial soap because who would have thought that your regular dish soap was not antibacterial? But it doesn't say it on there, so I don't know if it is or not. So. We decided to go the safest route and to use Clorox. Um, I just put three drops of Clorox in there. The bottom reservoir is really clean looking. Because all the contaminants were filtered out and kept up top. Right. And that's a new sponge, never been used. Yeah, brand new sponge. It said to use a scrubby sponge when you're cleaning these out. So, I mean, I'm just going to wash it like a do dishes i mean oh well you need to go sit on the sofa oh wow and watch me because i seem to do all the dishwashing okay so you don't want to hold the camera somebody needs to give him a hint in the comments on how to win friends and influence people because that ain't doing it now this is the top where all where the filters are and where all the contaminants are contained just washing that's actually the rubber gasket that goes on the bottom yeah she's i don't know how she's gonna get the cloth to stay in there since it's got holes in it maybe put it on the because uh, i don't want Now you're gonna drain it all out. So she's just watching, washing both the top and the bottom, and then she's gonna do all the parts, and then we're ready to put it back together for you. These really are not that dirty. Now the stuff in the bottom, because all the contaminants were filtered out, were... Now, during that three years, there was 18 months that we were in Minnesota that we had to drink bottled water because Berkey would not take nitrates out and we lived... Well, actually, I just read on the website that it does take... I don't know that it takes all the nitrates out, but it does take some. So we were scared and somebody that it, told us it wouldn't. Yeah. But the 
campground had such a high concentration that we bought water up there so really that we didn't chance it for a little over a year the berkey was not in use because we drank nothing but store-bought water which now i'm thinking back on it and i'm thinking maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do all right so i got that all washed off here's the nozzle it has the little um washer rubber, rubber seal so you stick that there then you stick the other little washer on the other end of it and push it up and then you get the little screw or nut whatever it's called it's a nut Screw it tight, snug, feels snug to me. And that's all nice and clean. Then I'm gonna sit it in its little... You can tell how hard the water is here by if you can see all the... The spots. Spots and stuff on the stainless steel. And we always leave ours just in case it drips or whatever, it's gonna drip in there. Okay. Now we've got to prime the filters. Oh. You remember the first time I did this, I was so freaked out about trying to do it. No. <laughs> All right. It says to wash your hands good. Because you don't want to get any oils. You really on the um, carbon filter so I try not to touch the carbon filter but I'm sure you know you may have to um, I know when you clean them you have to so just washing my hands real good you get this prime piece so you have to prime the filters for a minute right once the water starts flowing through yeah you just want to get all of the loose I guess charcoal out of it and this was kind of difficult I ended up having to take it outside and do it with a garden hose last time did we yeah let's see if we can do it inside because of the way I pushed this that down flush on when I did it I pushed this down where it was flush with the black hole instead of barely on top oh I thought okay like that yep let's see what we can get it to do see it makes a big we may have to do it outside babe all right, guys, because of the way our spigot in the kitchen is, it's got that spray thing. We couldn't do it inside without making a huge mess. All right, so you see how it's starting to sweat the it water a little bit? It up. I don't know if you can see it or not. It'll start to beat up on the um, filter. It looks like it's doing it on the sides here. I don't know if you can see that, but it beads up. And so it says to do both of them for a minute each. So we're gonna do the two filters and then... Uh... So we've put the black filters, the carbon filters in there, and I am securing them with the nuts. All right, hold that one up. You can lay it down. I was trying to keep that straight. Okay. What's that for? Oh, you've got both of them? Yep. Okay. Now you're going to have to go prime these. 
put it over here. Okay, these are hard side filters, not carbon. And they come with little plugs in the ends to keep them nice and clean. So you take that out and this out. And then it says you flush it and prime it out one end. And then you turn it and you do it out the other end. All right. So you think we can do this in here? I'll take it outside. All right. So now we're going to prime. Put the little washer on top. These primed a lot easier. I've already done one than the black ones. And then you just hold it secure. And see all the powder and the milky coming out? And then it'll start running clear. And then you flip it and do it the other way. Not as much. Milky came out. Is that clear? I'd run it a little bit longer. It was still looks a little cloudy. And then we just ran it back through the way it normally would run through. Looks good and clean to me. And Alex says it's dummy proof because only one side of these white filters have threads because see it has the flow. So that's how they want the water to flow through it. And you just screw it onto the bottom. Now I'm wondering how much of the gallon and a half that's gonna disperse where we won't be able to, I'm gonna be a little leery to fill it all the way up at first. Is it going? Yeah, I'm just not very good at it. There it goes. Yeah, screw it. Taunt. So Cindy went ahead and washed off the white filters after our hands had been on them. And I think that's all there is. So we had to fill it up. And then we will run a we'll run a bunch but, of water. Yeah, maybe a gallon. I think it holds one and a half gallons. But we'll run some water through it a couple of times. We'll probably dispose of that just because we want to anyway. Um, so we're gonna fill it up, let it filter through. And then we'll probably dispose of that water just because you want to do it a couple of times just to be sure you're getting good clean water through and you get as much stuff out of the water as you can. So tell um, us about the glass jars. So we found these glass jars because we all know plastics at some point in time leach into your water. Um, I know they'll say PBA free, blah, 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 blah. It's plastic. It's going to leach at some point. Either the temperature's going to get too hot or something, it's going to make it leach. So the safest container to store water in is glass. So all the glass containers I found were really big or, you know, you're always worried about stuff breaking when you're in a traveling in an RV. So I found these glass containers. They will, they have a screw on lid and Which they, is supposed to be the, what is it, PB, whatever. Right. Plastic. But that's, your water isn't touching this all the time. So I bought these because they'll fit right on my refrigerator door. And I can fit both of them right there when I'm traveling and I don't have to worry about them breaking. So that's what these are about. And I'll link those and the Berkey 
Um, and in, the filters. And the filters in the description of this video. In case you want to check them out on Amazon, we are an affiliate. And we ask that if you are going to buy something on Amazon, you use our link. And uh, they'll help us out a little bit. So anyway. And please like, share, and subscribe this video if you like it. Yep. And if it was helpful. So thank you all very much. And remember, clean water is safe water. We'll talk to you later.